I'm Deepak Garg, the founder of Wafi, where we are building the sheen of home and kitchen. So essentially a global brand from India, made in India for the world. Amongst other things, prior to this, I've been the managing director of Wayfair, which is the world's largest uh, home goods platform in Asia. I'm thankful to Jim's and PhD Chamber of Commerce for this opportunity where we had an, a discussion with an esteemed number of panelists around building resilient brands. There were four key points that, that, uh, that are a highlight for me essentially. Number one, a lot of the questions were around for new people who are launching new brands, or early brands, what is critical? Because the single most thing is building a great product that delivers a great customer value proposition and meets customer expectation and exceeds it. Single biggest thing is a great product. The second thing is around unit economics. So if your product is not contribution margin positive at a sale, it still does not have product market fit. So having great unit economics is super critical. The third question is around challenges. So one of the biggest challenges that I see that could trip us in our journey in retail evolution is manufacturing. We need to rapidly upscale our manufacturing practices, have great quality and consistent quality. Fourthly, talking about some of the biggest opportunity that we have in the coming decade is a cross-border B2C trade. Today, less than 0.5 to 0.75% of Indian exports are B2C. And the goal should be to get to about 20 to 30% of our exports being B2C in the next 10 years, which helps both build, an India's, build India's brand globally and drive a subsequent waterfall effect on our B2B trade as well. Another key thing was on the mind is how does a session like this add value to the students? So personally, I believe sessions like these achieve three objectives. Number one, it connects them to industry experts, industry practitioners, and helps them connect the theory they are learning uh, in their courses to real life experiences. Second part is they're able to absorb knowledge, make connections, network with people, have an opportunity to ask questions later on. Third and foremost, I think my personal motivation to participate in a session like this was to give people a flavor of what real life looks like. These students are getting a lot of theory. They're seeing a lot of media hype. They're seeing a lot of PR articles, but where the rubber meets the road is real life. And so a big session like this gives them what real life will look like, were they to choose the path A or path B. So I think that's the biggest value that a student should be able to get out of this.